if you're new to my channel, I'm Lori. Welcome to Lori's Book Trials. As you can tell by the title, this is my May TBR slash Medieval Thon. Um, Holly Hart's Books does this, and she started it last year. You have like, you can read like set up to seven books. You can read more if you want because there's, you can do all the prompts. I didn't write down all the prompts though. I just wrote down what I was going to do. If you want the full prompts, then, of course, Holly will have that on her channel. And, again, that's Holly Hart's Brooks. Books, I mean, if I can get it out. And it's the whole month of May. And I got ten books here. I don't know if I'm going to get to all ten, but these are the ten that I really want to try to get to next month. And they were going to be, not all of them, but most of them were going to be on my TBR for next month anyway. So, so we'll go from there. But if you guys like this video then please give it a thumbs up. I'll do all that other kind of stuff at the end. But yeah, let's get started. I'm just going to tell you what it's for, like if it's like a wardrobe or whatnot. And I'll tell you what the what the one is, what the different um, things you can strive to be, like a peasant or whatnot. So if you don't read any books, of course, you're a prisoner. If you read one book, you're a peasant. If you read two books, you're a square. If you read three books, you're a knight. If you read four books, you're a noble. If you, if you read five, you're a prince or princess. If you're six, you're a queen. You could be a queen or a king. And if you're seven, you could be a em em emperor. Emperor? How do you say that word? Or empress. And I have four wardrobe outfits that I want to wear. I don't know what they were, so I just wrote down what they are. Like, you know, what what you would have to read for that prompt. So I picked four of those. The first one is a shiny book. I'll be going over here because all my books are over here. So for a shiny book, this is very shiny. I don't know if you guys could tell on the, th on the video, but very shiny. This can work for a lot of it, a lot of the books, but you can't double. That is one of the worlds you cannot double. So, yeah, just wanted to throw that out there for you guys. Well, no, no doubling allowed. But anyways, this one would definitely work for the shiny book. And I'm trying to remember what this one's exactly about. Oh yeah. They've never found the body of the first and only boy who broke my heart. And they never will. So she wants to marry the Shadow King for his power. And then she wants to kill him. I'm not going to really tell you too much about it. I read like the first... But when I start... When I start at the first of the month, or whenever I read this one sometime next month, I'll start from the beginning. But I read up to page um, chapter 3, which is page 18, and quit. <clears throat> but I'll start from the beginning. So The next one is, for one of the wardrobes, is green on the dust jacket. For that, I picked Stephen King, the Tommyknockers. This could have worked for another prompt, but I had something else for that prompt. But this one could have worked for a number of them. It could have worked for a green on the dust jacket, which I'm doing. It could have worked for a green, your favorite color on the spine. And for a scary one. But I got stuff for those other two. So, But this one is about, I think this girl, she digs up something and it causes like... Everybody to start getting like supernatural powers and things. I read this a long time ago, but it's a long time ago. <laughs> this could even work for like, I didn't pick the prompt, but there's one prompt where it's yellow on the cover. I mean, yellow, like stained, you know what I mean? Like for age, what's it called? Like, you know, what I'm talking about yellowed over time. It could have even worked for that if I was going for that one, but I'm not. But yeah, this is a big book, so hopefully I will be able to read it, because a lot of these are some hefty books. The next one is A Dragon on the Cover. For that one, I got Rebel Wing by Andrea Tang. It's about this girl, I guess. She's, like, trying to, like, go against her government, and she almost gets uh, arrested or something, and the the this robot robotic dragon comes into the picture and saves her and he's like imprinted on her now or yeah imprinted into her now yeah 
This would even work for shiny on the cover because look how shiny. But anyways. The next one is <clears throat> favorite color on this find. Green is my favorite color, but I don't have a lot of green. And I already had a green for, you know, spine. I mean, for the other one. Green on the dust jacket. And I didn't want to do it twice. But I love, like, the bluish color green. So, the aqua, whatever it is. So, that's why I picked this one. It's a guest list. It's about a uh, bride and groom that are going to get married. And someone gets killed on the, um, you know, on the wedding. Or, or after the wedding. It says, the guest list. An exclusive wedding on a remote Irish island. The bride. The plus one. The best man. The wedding planner. The bridesmaid. All have a secret. All have a motive. But only one is a murderer. So, yeah. That one looks really, really good. Like, I'm super excited for that one as well. Okay, now we're going into weapons. For weapons, I picked four books. The first one is something pointy on the cover, which would be for sword. And for the sword, I am going to read the unspoken name because I don't know if that's supposed to be a bone or what that is, but it's definitely sharp right here, whatever that is, so. That's why I picked that one. It says, The Priestess, Assassin, and Traitor. It says, What if you knew how and when you will die? This looks so good. So she's supposed to die, and this mage um, offers her a new fate. And I don't know exactly what's going to take place. I don't really want to go into it knowing too much because I'm so excited about this book. So, yeah. The next one is for a dag for daggers. And for that one, you either can start or finish a duology. I'm in the middle right now of trying to reread um I forgot the name of it. I might went like oh the devouring gray. <coughs> so I'm gonna finish that this sometime this week. And I'm gonna finish it up with the deck of omens. Yay, I'm so excited to see how everything ends. I'm so excited to get back with Justin and Isaiah and all the other ones that are in it. I always forget the I always forget to um the guy, the girls' names. I know there's Violet, I think, but I always forget the other one's name. Harper maybe. But I'm so excited to get back to this. Super excited. Okay. Next one is for the bow and arrow. Which is you have to read a romance book. I had this on my TBR for this month. And I know I'm not going to get to it. So I have Undercover Bromance. By Lisa K. Adams. And oh my gosh. I'm so excited. To finally read this. Like I'm literally you guys. I keep reading it. I get to page 14. I got to page 14. And then other books got in the way. So super excited about that one. That one's about this girl that, um, she tries to stop, um, this, she butts in when this guy is, like, um, the boss is, like, trying to sexually harass some girl, and she butts, you know, she tries to, um, you know, stick up to the girl, and then she gets fired, and the guy, it, the, the, who's gonna be the love interest, he, um, is trying to help her, like, get back at the guy, and it's like a, um, suspense I think but each of these books are about a guy that's trying to find love and the guys are all like part of a book club and this one has to do with um what is it what is that one called is it, soup? Is it suspense yeah suspense so this one has to do with suspense so I'm really excited for that one what is the next one? Oh. For a shield, because I gotta have a shield, you guys. Definitely have to have a shield. Is a book you have exp high expectations for. So, in other words, a five-star prediction. For that one, I just got done reading Wicked Saints. And it was a five. So, this one better not let me down. Ruthless Gods. Oh, my gosh. I want to read it so bad. This baby is huge, huge, huge. And I can't tell you anything about this one because, like I said, it's the next book. And it's not done. There's one more book. But this 
Oh my god, the other one I love so much. So I'm so excited to see what's going to happen next. And if it's going to be one of those books that that you really, really love or is, um, you know, where um, it lets you down. Usually the middle book is the book that kind of like makes it go down a little bit and then it, maybe it goes back up again. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a five. If not a six, which would be a favorite of the year. This baby is heavy, you guys. Very heavy and it's so beautiful. I love it. And then we have, I picked two for <laughs> pet companions. I think there was like five or six pet companions. I picked two. I picked a chicken because a book I wanted to read is a scary book. So I was like, I gotta do the chicken because I want to read a scary book. So for that one, I got the Southern's Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. I am so excited about this. I heard it is super scary and it's really um, like creepy you know what I mean like it makes you like and like on the edge of your seat and stuff to see what's gonna happen next I heard it's really bloody and everything so oh I'm so excited for this and you guys know me I'm not I am a chicken that's another reason why I picked this because I am definitely a chicken and do not like scary books but I got kind of two scary books on there I got Tommy Knockers and this one so oh my gosh I am super excited and the last one yay which is going to actually be a smaller book. <laughs> the smallest book here. And it could have worked for... Um, one of the prompts was a book under 300 pages. That could work for that too. But we're not going for that one. We are going for a fox. I would love to have a fox as a pet. Oh my god. Can you imagine having a fox as a pet? Oh my gosh. That would be so interesting. So for that mm. one, you have to read... Something that has orange on the dust jacket. And I picked this little one out because I at least have to have one that's going to be like this. And this is Ghost Glide by Clarabelle A. Cor Cortega? Cortega? Something like that? There's definitely orange in there. So, yeah. And I guess it's, I don't really know. I guess they're trying to catch or, ca capture a ghost or something. I'm not really sure. It says, be prepared, respect the dead, always have a cat. <laughs> so I am super excited about this. Like, it looks like it's going to be a cute little book. I wasn't going to read it. I was going to save it for, um, like, you know, around Halloween time. But if I like it, I'll reread it at Halloween time. No worries about that. But yeah, it says, for Lucilia Luna, Lucilia Luna, Lucilia Luna, how do you say that? How do you say it? Ghosts are more than just the family business. So shortly before Halloween, Lucilia, Lucilia and her best friend Sid cast a spell that accidentally awakens malice spirits, wrecking havoc throughout the hometown of St. Augusta, Florida. Together they must join forces with Sid's witch grandmother, Babette, and her tabby ta ta tubby tabby, Chucky, I mean Chuck, to fight for the haunting head on and I mean, reverse the curse to save the town and Lucilia's firefly spirits before it's too late. So, this looks really cute and I don't really have a lot of um, books that have orange on the cover. On the dust jacket, I mean, I have this one, but of course this one's for the scary one. So, yeah. But yeah, those are the 10 books that I am going to try for. The ones I really want to get to, I will tell you. I really want to get to the chicken one because I really want to read that this month. The orange, because I want the fox. So those two are going to be two of my priorities. I really want the um, um, the book you have expect high expectations for, which is Ruthless Gods. Definitely want to get to that one. Um... Start or finish a duology. Definitely want to get to that one. Definitely want to get to um, the romance one. Which is the bow and arrow. I definitely want to get to um, the um, Tommy Knockers one. And I really want to get to... Um, which one did I forget that I really want to read? 
the guest list one. I forget which one I already said that one was for. I forgot what I said that one was for. But anyways, I definitely want to read that one. I think it's for favorite color on the spine. Yeah, favorite color on the spine. But I really want to read all ten of them. So, But yeah, certain ones are more priority. Like, the Deck of Omens definitely is a priority. Um, the, the Undercover Bromance. The Southern... The Southern... Book Club Guide to Slaying Vampires. <laughs> Boy, that one's hard. Ruthless Gods. I think I already said that one. Basically, all these books I really want to get to. Or they wouldn't be on the list. But there's more that I'm going to, like, prioritize. Like, I'm probably going to read um, the vampire one first. Because I'm very, like, want to see what, what the hype is about. Because a lot of people love this book. And it just sounds good, and I'm just lately been in vampire and supernatural type of mood, so super excited. But I know a lot of people are going to participate in this, and yeah, it's going to be so much fun. And I wasn't sure, sure at, at first sure if I was going to participate, but I managed to fit like almost every book that I wanted to read next month besides a couple onto this list somewhere. So yay! And plus, last year I tried to do this, and I... Failed miserably. I think I finished one or two books. And I forgot to like vlog and everything. I read a couple but I forgot to vlog and I forgot to do my results. So this year I want to do it right. So yeah. So that is my May TBR and my Medieval Thon. And of course it's all month of May. And like I said, no doubling up. Yeah. So just remember that. But it's going to be so much fun. And like I said, there's more prompts than these. So you can go to Holly's website, Holly Hart Books. And she has all that info. info and she's got a um, Twitter set up where, you know, where you could tweet your progress. She's got an Instagram, you know, she got Instagram, which is number in you know, the number sign always for, you know, but the um, thing is M-E-D-E-V-A-L-A-T-H-O-N, M-E-D-E-V-A-L-A-T-H-O-N, that is what you would do for Instagram, I think, it might be for um, Twitter too, I mean, it might be for Twitter, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm getting it all wrong, might be for twi Twitter, not Instagram, but it could be for Instagram, but you could double check. Because all that information will be on Holly's website. Sorry, this is such a mess, but I am so excited about this. Like, I haven't been excited in a while for some books. Like, almost all these books are stuff that I'm really, 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 really excited for. Like, oh my gosh, I'm ready to read them. Like, I would read them now if I had the time. So, let me know if you guys are participating what you got if you're not participating what books do you want to read next month that you're really excited about let me know if you've read any of these books that i'm going to be reading what you thought about them without spoilers i hope you guys are all having a great saturday um when this is up it'll probably be either sunday or monday probably monday i don't know it'll be sunday or monday when you see this so either have a happy sunday or a happy monday and just have a happy weekend in general. <laughs> I love you guys all. Remember, again, if you guys like this video, thumbs up. Please think about subscribing. I love you guys so much. And I would love to have you guys part of the family. And remember, if you do subscribe, hit that bell icon. So you'll know whenever a video like this is up for your viewing pleasure. Yeah. And I will talk to you guys all later. I love you guys all as a friend. <laughs> Stay safe out there or inside even. Who knows? Whatever. I love you guys all. Mwah.